finally made it to Geneva, Switzerland. We had a huge flight. It was like 35 hour travel time from Australia, I think. It's freezing cold here. It's like zero degrees Celsius. We came from like 40 degrees Celsius, middle of summer in Australia. So definitely a tough one to swallow with all the time change and temperature change and stuff. Now we're heading down to Matt Rabot's house. It's like an hour away still in Switzerland somewhere and gonna put the bike together. Hopefully I remember to pack all the parts I need. I, I often forget a lot of stuff. Then we're gonna check out his compound and try get some riding in, test the bike, make sure it's good for the Supercross this weekend here in Geneva. rocked up to our Rebose compound here in Switzerland. Wear the bike in a little, we built it last night, but it's uh, freezing, cold enough to freeze the balls off a brass monkey. See if uh, we can warm the hands up enough to do a few tricks. Geneva Supercross is like a really cool event. It's built a name not only for, for really good racing, but also freestyle. Over the last 10 years, they've had really big name riders doing big tricks and stuff here. So, stoked to be a part of it this year, and I'm going to send a couple of frontiers this weekend. Arabo's Pit in Switzerland. Checking out how it's done over this side of the yeah. this side of the pond. It's definitely different to back home. Time to wrap it up and head to Geneva for the Supercross. Back at Geneva, checking out the setup here at the stadium. Of course, looks good. I think the the Supercross is going to be pretty exciting to watch. The track here is way different to what they are in a, in Australia or the US. So. It's going to be sick to watch the racing and then for freestyle our ramp looks good, the landing looks nice and big, it's all pretty roomy so hopefully it benefits the front flip a little and we'll uh, get out there, throw the gear on and see how the course feels now. Yeah. But for me it's good for running. Oh, landing metal, huh? Front flip. Yeah. Yeah. Track's crazy, they built the whole thing, like built it with all skid steers and stuff and then they got a, like, a little steam roll in and rolled everything so everything's like got a glossy finish and the dirt's like played, it'll be sick to see the racing go down on here. Our jump looks good, but there's not much stopping room. There's like a, a barrier right at the bottom. So hopefully they can move that back a bit because not my track record, I'll probably hit my f you ready? And uh, the first session is something to exactly to <laughs>
style shows to do and then finish off with the front flip so tricks my hardest trick I can do so give it 110% and hopefully it'll work out Always scary as all that trick. Pretty stoked to get that thing wheels down. Now I've got to try and stay away from the bar and be back to do the same thing tomorrow. Geneva Supercross 2016 done and dusted. Front is both nights, pretty stoked. Tonight went a little bit long in the soft landing and I think I said goodbye to Father's Day, but all good, at least we're heading home now, pulling the bike down and uh, making the long trek back to Oz.